When it comes to an impressive male physique, a short list of muscle groups come to mind right off the bat. Things like a big chest, broad shoulders, and nice arms are often top of the list. And if you've watched any YouTube videos surveying women on which male body parts they find most attractive, shoulders and arms are usually the top two. With this being the case, many lifters get hyper-focused on those muscle groups and risk having underdeveloped legs at some point in their lifting journey. After all, unless you're a competitive bodybuilder, physique competitor, or someone who walks around with short shorts that show their quads and hamstrings, your leg muscles can stay hidden and forgotten for long periods. But since Muscle Monster viewers are intelligent, self-aware lifters who aspire to have well-rounded physiques, you having developed legs that match your overall body is a vital goal. So without further ado, here are five reasons your legs may not be growing and how to fix them so you can see new leg gains once again. Number one, your workout program needs to change. Most bodybuilders follow a training split that trains one or two muscle groups per workout each week. And while this style of training can work for many lifters, it can also lead to underdeveloped legs for several reasons. The first is that most of the training sessions are upper body focused. Here's an example of a four day split. Day one, chest and tries. Day two, back. Day three, shoulders and biceps. Day four, legs. This program looks great and will undoubtedly yield results, but if you divide the workouts into upper and lower instead of a body part split, it's three upper body days to one lower body day. If we were to make this a five day split with arms on its own day, it would be four upper body to one lower body. So with this example alone, you can see how an upper and lower body imbalance can develop. The most straightforward solution is to switch to a program with a one-to-one -one upper and lower body split. This can be a full body routine that equalizes the time between upper and lower body training or a straight up upper lower split. Here's an example of the latter. Day one, upper body one. Day two, lower body one. Day three, upper body two. Day four, lower body two. This simple change in your workout routine can turbocharge your lower body gains since you're training legs more often and have your legs growing once again. Number two, you're using the wrong combination of exercises. Another reason your legs may not be growing is poor exercise selection. A common reason for this is people thinking of leg exercises rather than focusing on specific leg muscle groups they aim to build. One quick example is someone who does squats, leg press, with a similar foot position as the squat, lunges, and leg extensions. Unfortunately, this leg workout provides a bias to the quadriceps and completely neglects the hamstrings. So here's a different approach. The process of choosing the right exercise is something we've talked about on this channel many times because it's so important. Ultimately, it comes down to understanding the following. One, muscle anatomy, which means understanding the muscle you want to train. Number two, muscle function, which is knowing what that muscle does. Number three, choosing exercises that emulate the muscle's function and trains it to a full range of motion. Here's a brief overview of leg muscle anatomy and function that will give you a solid framework to choose exercises. The quads are responsible for knee extension when doing leg presses and leg extensions. The hamstrings cross both hips and knees, which means the hamstrings can be trained by bending at the hips and at the knees. Their primary function is knee flexion and hip extension. The calves are responsible for foot and ankle extension, trained in a straight leg or bent knee position. By selecting a leg exercise that checks each of those boxes, you'll have leg workouts that will provide well-rounded leg growth. Number three, always chasing a new one rep max. The following reason your legs may not be growing is that you treat every leg workout like a one rep max testing session or a power lifting meet. In other words, your goal is to hit a new personal best on the squats every time you train legs. Here's why chasing new PRs is counterproductive to building bigger legs once you're outside of your beginner phase. The first reason is that you treat your sets before the main set like warm-up sets rather than working sets. Why? Because you're conserving your energy for the big set. This can result in training hard on one set instead of pushing the pace on all three, four, or five sets. The solution is to ditch the idea that you have to lift more weight every workout and increase your reps and effort across all sets. This will result in more time under tension and greater total effort in your training sessions. You can still test max on occasion to see how your strength has developed, but most of your efforts need to be directed towards training hard four reps for all your non-warm-up sets. Number four, your cardio sucks. Let's face it, performing leg exercises like the leg press, squats, or Romanian deadlifts for anything over eight to 10 reps is very taxing on your muscles and cardiovascular system. So the question then becomes, are you stopping because your leg muscles are tired or because you're out of breath? Good question, right? If you notice yourself struggling to catch your breath on your third or fourth set of 12 rep leg press, it may be worth working on your cardio to make sure your conditioning isn't the limiting factor. Performing HIIT cardio once or twice a week after your workout or on a rest day is an excellent way to improve your conditioning. As your fitness levels improve, you'll notice you aren't breathing as hard between reps and sets, and you can focus more of your energy on pushing your legs to the limit. 
Doing so will lead to better conditioning, better recovery, more reps, and ultimately more growth. Number five, you're letting your genetics define you. Unfortunately, some lifters' calf muscles can be the most visible example of not-so-great leg genetics. A jacked upper body, decent quads and hamstrings, and hashtag team no calves below the knees. So while you can't change your genetics, you may want to make sure you're not leaning on genetics as an excuse. By simply increasing your training frequency, you can help maximize muscle growth and get the most out of what your body has to offer. For example, if your calves aren't growing as much as you'd like, consider adding a few sets of calf raises on an additional day in the same week. So if you're doing a push-pull legs program, for instance, add four sets of calf raises on a push or pull day in addition to the calf work you're doing on a leg day. These additional sets will lead to more gains over time. The same concept can apply to any muscle group you feel isn't growing as fast as it should. Not only will the muscle group be fresh on those separate days, but the total weekly sets will increase substantially. To summarize, let's recap the main points mentioned in this video. Number one, selecting a proper training structure. Number two, putting together a good combination of leg exercises. Number three, max out less often and make every set count. Number four, improving your cardiovascular conditioning. Number five, increasing training sets throughout the week. With these five methods, your legs will undoubtedly see new gains and have every reason to continue growing. Did you find this video helpful? If so, click the like button below as it'll genuinely help out the channel. If your training and nutrition are in order and you're looking for a bit of an edge, be sure to check out my science-based supplement line. Each product was created using scientifically proven ingredients, all clinically dosed and guaranteed to produce results. And right now you can get 25% off your entire order, plus free shipping by using coupon code MONSTER at checkout. So head over to musclemonsters.com supplements or click the link in the description. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one. Peace.